So a Windows shutdown doesn't actually shut down your computer, but a restart does? That makes no sense, but it could explain why your computer is still running slow and some of those issues are still not getting fixed. Well, in order for Windows to work with its graphics card, sound, motherboard, keyboard, Wi-Fi, mouse, etc., Windows relies on something called a kernel. This kernel thing basically enables your hardware and your software to work together. You type a letter on your keyboard and somehow it appears on your screen. You click play on this video and your speakers start to play. The kernel is responsible for that. It has complete control and therefore it's always running in memory. So when you click on shutdown, your Windows closes all your apps, logs you out of your computer and it seems like your computer is actually switched off. However, what it actually does is keeps the kernel in a state of sleep hibernation. Mm. So that when you press that power button on, Windows doesn't have to reload the kernel, it has all the info that it needs, and ta-da, Windows appears for you to log in. This is called Fast Startup, and Microsoft actually introduced this feature back in Windows 8 days. So why should you care about this now? Since it doesn't work on every computer and every laptop, you may not be aware of it, or maybe your computer hardware at the time didn't really apply to you, but it may apply to you now. By not properly killing the kernel, it means that if you have any issues, issues such as your sound stops playing all of a sudden or your Wi-Fi all of a sudden doesn't connect. When you click on that shutdown, those issues still remain inside the kernel. You should also care because when you update some apps, they require a full shutdown to take effect. Those apps therefore don't actually get updated because your system hasn't really shut down. Some people also report issues if you're encrypting your hard drive or you're trying to dual boot system. That can actually cause corruption when it's in the state. This is why those IT people always tell you, have you tried switching it off and on again? Because a restart actually does that. A restart actually kills the kernel, shuts everything down, and you start up with a nice clean boot. But what happens if you don't want to restart your computer, but you still want to go back to the good old days when shutdown was actually a shutdown? Let me show you what you need to do. Click on the Windows icon, click on power, and hold the shift button as you click on the shutdown. This will bypass the fast startup. Now, if you don't wanna keep remembering to hold that shift button down, then you can actually disable fast startup with a few simple clicks. In your Windows, head down to the search bar and type there, control panel. There'll be an icon that looks like this. We want the section that says hardware and sound. We'll open that up. Under the power option, there's an option there called change what the power buttons do. Select that. Now you'll see turn on fast startup is ticked. What we wanna do is click on the option that says change settings that are currently unavailable. Now simply untick this box, click on save changes, and now when you shut down your computer, it will do it the right way. Now note here, if you don't see fast startup option, it probably means your PC doesn't support fast startup and it's basically shutting down correctly. So no changes necessary for you. Now you can clearly see there's a mode here called sleep and it's checked by default. And there is another mode here called hibernation, which isn't checked. What are these? Let me show you. So once again, head to the start button, click on power, and now you'll see it's added the little option called hibernate. So what's the difference between hibernate and sleep? Well. Let's first put a calculator on my desktop. Let's put a notepad on my desktop. These are my working apps before I'm shutting down. Now I click on start, click on the power, and I'm gonna choose sleep. All right, switching over to an external camera. There is the sleep. I'm gonna click on it. My screen goes black as it normally does. Let's just make sure there's no more signal. Yep, no more signal coming from my computer to my screen. Let's go check out the actual box itself. And you can clearly see my RAM still flashing. There's still power that's been fed by my computer. Hit that power button and then once I log in, you'll be able to see that there it is. My apps are exactly where I left them. Now let's do the same with Hibernate. What's the difference? So click on Hibernate. Screen goes black as it did before. I'm gonna check my box, but look at this time. My fan stops spinning. My RAM isn't even on. No pretty LED lights. Now I press the on button and the difference is that now it just does a longer boot cycle because it's going through the whole process, but whatever I left open is still remains open on my screen. Now, when your system goes into this fast startup hibernation mode, it creates a hidden file on your hard drive to hold all that information. This file size tends to be about 70 to 80% of your total computer's memory. This is massive. So if you have a 16 gigs of RAM, your file size could be as much as 12 gigs. That's a lot. Fortunately, there's a simple way to reduce that file size in half by simply doing this. In Windows on your search, type CMD, 
right click on command prompt and choose run as administrator. Now on this prompt, you simply copy the command I have on the screen, but essentially it's power CFG space forward slash H space forward slash type space reduced and press enter and it will reduce the hibernate file size. Now, if you want to go back to the original file size, simply type the following or just press the up arrow key, type power CFG forward slash H forward slash type. And instead of reduced, we're going to type there full. And now you're back to its default settings. Now, check out this video over here that YouTube thinks that you would absolutely love. Hit the head down here if this is your first time that you're here. Welcome and I'll see you in this video. Let's go.